I'm going to go for a really quick and easy refresh, which I will usually do on day three and day five, and I'm going to be using the products from this moisturizer test box. This is what bun life does for you. Been in a bun for the last two days. So, yeah. First thing I'm going to do is put it into two sections. This just makes it easier. And make sure that the product gets where you need it to. So I'm going to be using a fine mist spray bottle to do this. The fine mist bottle, I mean your hair doesn't get soaked, but it gets wet enough to get moisture in. This one is from Oh So Curly. So I'm just going to dampen but not soak the sections. If you use your fingers, you can rake the water through your hair and see which bits need more attention. When you've done that, you use your fingers to just finger comb gently through your hair. I don't like to use a brush on my hair, especially during the styling process, as I feel it just changes the effect. I find fingers to be a much gentler way of detangling. It's a good way to see which parts of your hair you think need a little bit more water on them, and you will get bits of your hair that just done that and take a little bit of the product so I'm going to repeat the process I did on wash day which is a leave-in and a cream. This leave-in smells incredible as well so I'm not going to take loads. I know that probably looks. And then using the same method I'm going to rake that through. Raking it through just make sure that it gets right into your hair and not just on your hair, that's the last thing you want. You want it to get right in and get on as many hair strands as it can. Which is why we need to tangle first. Get all those tangles out, makes this process a lot easier. My curling cream, and about the same amount. And this time, I'm gonna rub this in and use the praying hands method smooth this in. This is the final styling product that I'm using and I don't really want to disrupt the curls that I've got but I will clump them. So this will just give me clumped curls. So just smoothing this in. This is what it looks like at the minute. And lastly, I'm going to twist it round just to give it a little bit more clump. And then I'm going to leave it like that while I do the same to the other side. If you notice as well, I'm not applying the spray water onto my roots too much because this is going to weigh my hair down and I'm going to lose the volume that I have. attention to the end which is where it's frizzed out more than the rest. Tangles you can feel, just use your hand to separate them. Where my tart is I always finger to tangle up. It's because I want the hair to be trained to go in that direction. It's been a while since I've cut it, so my layers are kind of disappearing at this point. So I just keep training it to fall that way, then it will. Two strand twists, both sides, but 
today I'm not going to do that. So then because we have obviously had it put in two sections for this, just make sure at the back you're removing that part that you have made. I find that putting it into a ponytail and smoothing that way often helps with this. And lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a hair towel. This one's from Happy Hair Co. And I'm just going to scrunch out any excess. I'm going to leave it to air dry and I'll pop back later and show you what that looks like. But that is how I refresh. Hair is now dry. Completely, as you can see, I still have a lot of volume, which is great, but I still also have a really good curl definition. So yeah, overall, I am really impressed with these products and I will be using them more often. Um, any product that I can get five or more days out of after wash day is always a win for me.